Breaking news, there's a new way to solve equations. It's the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is... Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Schools across the country are now teaching the quadratic formula instead of completing the square. I have a friend who needs help. Do you think you could help him? Yes, I think I can. Oh my god, this is so hard. Someone help me. Why don't you just use the quadratic formula? Okay, what's that? Well, the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then you have to plug in a, b, and c? Yeah. This is a, this is b, and this is c. So a equals 5, b equals 4, and c equals negative 2? Yep. So you plug it into the equation, negative b plus or minus rad b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, x equals negative 4 plus or minus rad 4 squared minus 4 times negative 10? Yep, that's right. All over 10. Good job! Now continue. x equals negative 4 plus or minus 16 plus 40 over 10. x equals negative 4 plus or minus rad 56 all over 10. Now what? Now you're going to have to simplify the radical. To simplify rad 56, you just take it, you're going to break it up. Alright, so you have rad 56. Now what? That breaks up into rad 4 and rad 14. And then, do you know what the square root of 4 equals? 2. Yep, so now you're going to have 2 rad 14. Can you finish the equation? Yes. x equals negative 4, ooh, I like this pen, plus or minus 2 rad 14 over 10. Now simplify. x equals negative 2 plus or minus rad 14 over 5. That was so easy. Yep, that's so much easier than trying to complete the square. Now why don't you try this one? Okay. So the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus rad b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. a equals 3, b equals 7, and c equals negative 1. So x equals negative 7 plus or minus rad 49 minus 4 times negative 3, all over 2 times 3. So x equals negative 7 plus or minus rad 49 plus 12, all over 6. x equals negative 7 plus or minus rad 61 over 6.